is going to share with us the art of Qigong. Welcome to the show, Frank. Thank you very much. And you are working in a suburb of Chicago at a facility called the Eastern Wellness Group, is that correct? That's right. And you also then do provide services in South Bend here on Thursdays. Yes, I do. At the, is it the Natural Wellness Center? It is. You've got it right. Okay. All right. Now that we know who you are and where you are, why don't you tell me, I don't know very much about Qigong, and uh, if you'd share with the audience what it is. Sure. Qigong is an ancient healing system. It actually predates acupuncture. It's probably one of the first forms of preventative medicine that was discovered and then practiced by uh, Chinese people. Uh, it's also practiced in other uh, countries in Asia. Mm -hmm. And it uses visualization, breathing techniques, and um, posture basically to develop increase and direct your energy. Well, I know that qi means life force energy. Mm -hmm. What yeah. does the gong. gong part mean? Well, gong means practice or cultivation. So you're oh. practicing the development of qi, and qi has literally uh, hundreds of definitions as it relates to the, to the body, to the universe, to the, uh, to the air, to the earth, to the trees. And so we're really talking about energy from the perspective of both the mind, the body, and the spirit, mm -hmm. cultivating mm -hmm. that energy and unifying that energy. Well, and it sounds like it's a, um, very connected, as I heard you talk about the nature forces and so on and so forth. So um, one month with everything around us as well as each other is absolutely. that accurate absolutely all right and is it uh i always think of it as movement of some sort is that accurate well there's two kinds of there's uh <laughs> quiescent or yin qigong which is really basically sitting and experiencing and directing the movement of energy in the body and then there's yang qigong which is moving qigong all right um, before you show me a little bit about the moving Qigong, where, where did you receive your training or how did you get involved? I started uh, at the same time that I started my acupuncture practice or, or studies uh, studying Qigong. Acupuncture can be looked at as using antenna to interface the inner qi with the outer qi. That's one of the ways to, to look at it. So the basic idea that if you don't have it, you can't give it. Mm -hmm. uh, applies, I think, very much in this kind of healing where you're working to interface the energy or the deficiency or excess of the energy with the patient to the balancing energy of what's out there, the ambient energy of the universe or the planet. Okay. So you're going to uh, kind of teach me a little Qigong this sure. morning? Absolutely. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, again, it's visualization, posture, and breathing. So we'll start with visualization. And in our mind's eye, let's, let's imagine that we're standing in a field full of flowers as mm -hmm. far as the eye can see. Okay. And they're all around us. They're behind us where we can't see, but we can experience that energy. And they're, they're swaying in the, in the wind, and there's this riot of color. Okay. And they're different sizes and different shapes, and the bees are flitting back and forth, and the birds. We want to make it as real as possible. Uh, flowers definitely have energy and have healing properties. So we're standing here being taken care of by nature. And of course, below those flowers is the deep, rich soil of Mother Earth. And so as we stand here, we exhale and slowly sink. And then on the inhale, we pull the energy. So take your hands, open them up, very relaxed, and pull the energy of the field of flowers up into the Tan Tien which is the navel area. Exhale, push any stale and stagnant energy down into the earth. Inhale, tongue is on the roof of the mouth. Pull the energy up into the Tan Tien. Exhale and push it down. And we just do this for a while. It can be any amount of time that's convenient to our schedules. And we're purifying and energizing so we're energizing by pulling the energy of the flowers in and the earth and then purifying by sending the, the stale energy or this toxic energy back into Mother Earth to dispose of for us. 
So if I'm understanding you correctly, this is something that anyone in our audience or any of us could do any time of the day. You could do it standing, sitting, okay. laying down. The idea is to capture the energy of nature, bring it in, and interchange our imbalanced energy with the balanced energy of nature. All right. So it would be a somewhat of a purifying move, a and clearing, strengthening, strengthening centering yourself. So say if you had a difficulty and you wanted to get beyond it, maybe by doing that particular vis visualization and movement, you would bring yourself back to balance so Absolutely. that you could go on. That's right. All right. Um, I do remember once seeing a videotape of a Qigong hospital. Yes. I'm assuming that it was in China because mm -hmm. I don't remember. And it was just a powerful experience to watch these people who were not helped by conventional medicine going over there, doing these moves and working with the Qigong healers. It left quite an impression. So Qigong really is about healing. Yes, it is. And it is connecting with the life force energy within ourselves and with the universe. Exactly. All right. And I know that you teach some Qigong classes here in town. I do. You're going to do a retreat um, this fall right. um, in the Star. South Bend area at Morning Star Ranch. Right. Okay, great. Uh, thank you so much for sharing with me what Qigong is. Thank you, Karen. Um, and it's been great having you as a guest on the program. It's a pleasure. Thank okay. you. My name is Frank Urasek. I'm a professor of Twain at the Midwest College of Oriental Medicine and a doctor of oriental medicine. Today we'd like to show you some exercises that have come through China many thousands of years ago called Nei Gang, which is inner training exercises, inner energy exercises. And this set that we're going to do is the Yi Jin Jing, which means the tendon and muscle strengthening exercises. To help me demonstrating these is Amanda Partlow, who's a student also at the Midwest College of Oriental Medicine. Before we get into the Nagang exercises, we do some stretching which actually helps to move the energy from one part of the body to another through the joints. So we're going to start with neck rotations, forward to the right, back and to the left, forward to the right, back and left, forward to the right, back and left, and then the opposite direction, left back, right, and forward, left, back, right, and forward, left, back, right, and forward. Now we'll bring the hands up to the chest in your crane's beak and big, do big elbow rotations, moving the elbows forward, opening up the chest and the shoulders, the scapula and then reversing that, big circles with the elbows, the wrists, way. using the forearms as cams to open those wrist joints and let the energy flow through the fingertips. Then we take a wide stance and we're going to circle the hips, so we'll go forward and then right, back, left, forward, right, back, left, forward, back, back, left, and then reverse it, left, back, right, forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back, and right, and forward. Okay, the next is the rotation of the knees.